so the initial thoughts are it doesn't seem to match up very well with the amplifier so we're on Ritty at the moment 20 meters uh, here so we've got 372 there I've got 312 or 306 reflective power there 26 let's see uh, reflective power here wrong way 21 so that's about uh, 5 out uh, 279 here and it's showing 372 minus that is still nowhere near that <laughs> and uh, reflective power forward and SWR 1.7 and here 1.7 so the SWR works nicely but the rest doesn't really uh, really match up uh, yeah let's get it back to forward power uh, and there's that display let's try uh, something else So now we're on uh, 40 meters, we'll just try it here, I'll just tune the amplifier up, the frequency is clear, and we've got here 465, and we've got here 351, as you can see, SWR is good as perfect, and we'll just check here, oh, wrong way again, seek reflected back, I'll put 338, minus the reflective, and there's 365, SVR 1.3, so uh, there's a bit of discrepancy somewhere. Okay, we'll try SSB. He says, trying to flick it over without uh, disrupting the camera. Papa Alpha 1, Lima Echo Golf, test, test, test. You can see the meter is just working itself out. Uh, I've noticed this one just stays on here. And uh, we have the maximum hold on here and it's showing 258, uh, 358, and if we can look on the meter, well, SWR 1.1, almost perfect. Uh, let's just change this to uh, to output power, forward power. So uh, this is test, 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 test. This takes a minute, a second or so to get itself sorted out, and uh, hopefully in a moment, it should start showing somebody something, even though it's not doing it yet, 335, and on the uh, amplifier, we're getting about, uh, what's that, 380, 370, three, uh, 385, and on the SWR meter, power meter, 335. So they don't really match up very, very well. Let's just try, uh, what happens if we do this? That's uh, a bit more power now. Here it's uh, showing way too much, and here it's still showing 335. So, uh, there's about a 200 watt discrepancy uh, at this particular moment in time, as you can see. Uh, yeah, so I think this is going to go back this meter. Uh, again, it's not giving me a very accurate reading, or not as accurate as I want on SSB. And we have the, uh, the maximum hold here. I'll just uh, turn that off if I can. And now it's just a normal SWR meter. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. It must just take a bit of time to work things out, like it is now, and uh, it's not doing much at all. Maybe when I stop speaking, it then takes the measurement, but even now it's not doing anything with a hold off. So, which is strange really, because you think it would. We'll put the maximum back on, and uh, you can see 309, and uh, a little bit more on the display on the amplifier. So, disappointed again i think i might have to give up with this uh with this swr meter and just uh go on the swr and power meter in the amplifier and that way uh i do feel the amplifier does give a it does give a more accurate reading than this and this is just an indication and this also is, is just an indication because uh, you probably need a lot more expensive equipment to get a very accurate uh, reading. Well, I hope this has been useful to somebody. I wish I watched this before I bought this, but there's very few videos on YouTube with this particular meter, with the max hold. <laughs> I 
around at the rear of the meter we have the max hold on or off uh, power well self 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 explanted really uh, power in and uh, yeah for where the aerial and the lead goes but if you saw my last video about an SWR meter you can see the last meter there were four screws holding these in and on this meter it just looks like there's a nut that's uh, holding it on which is which is very solid and the other meter was uh, 160 euros more than this so you can appreciate the government money more money to spend on the products in development but uh, they've put a couple of screws here i suppose i could have glued that on on the inside but they've gone as far as two screws there and uh it's kind of what you'd expect for 200 euros it's not particularly heavy it's uh, it's it's all metal which is nice certainly the casing does sound a bit hollow and uh, this is plastic and uh, this is plastic and this is self-explanatory uh from 0 to 300 from 300 to 1200 and that's basically it i'm afraid uh this is gonna probably have to go back tomorrow yeah.